Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Obama Adumarwiti. I'm so excited to meet you today. I want to give a very, very big thank you to those who are new coming to this channel. You do not know how helpful you have become to me. If not for you guys, I wouldn't have come back. But because you're subscribing, the subscription is, is giving me so much sweetness. I keep coming, coming with new content. Thank you for supporting me. Both the new subscribers and my OGs who are here. Thank you so much. God bless you. I really appreciate your subscription to the channel. Now, this is Abam Adma Bruitia. Today's topic is something that we have to delicately dissect. Are you ready? Um, and there's this whole battle, mm -hmm. you know, natural hair versus wigs or weaves. What's your take on it? Um, your natural hair is good for church programs. Your natural <laughs> hair is good for when you want to pick your kids at school. Oh, wow. Don't bring your natural <laughs> hair to my event. I, I have natural hair, but you... I'm wearing a wig. But I don't okay. have to. I can wear my natural hair if I want to go out. Mm -hmm. If mm. I'm going to the beach and I can wear my natural hair, it's mm. good for the beach. Mm. If I'm going to church, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> if church, I'm going church. to pick my, maybe going to play with my niece, it's cool. If I'm in my house, it's okay. <laughs> but why would I want to wear a nice dress, expensive dress, mm -hmm. expensive ears? Mm. At least I'll do ponytail. At least. Mm -hmm. Like, but when okay. you do natural hair, you're wearing a nice dress. I'm looking at the dress up. I just look at the face, and they do want to. <laughs> Una, they do want to where they pay me. <laughs> and so we don't do that small makeup and say you're a minimalist. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, Chloe. <laughs> so after this video, what do you think? Hold on, hold on with what you think. Now let's see the beginning of weeks i am actually using my phone to go on google to search what it really means the origin of weeks we have to know about it so we can start our conversation from somewhere it says that ancient egyptians created weeks to shield shaved hairless hair from the sun listen up they also wore wigs on top of their hair using bees wax and racing to keep the wigs in place wealthy egyptians would wear elaborate wigs and scented hair cones of animal fat on top of their wigs yes these are some things that used to exist in the times before christ was born so let, let's build this up okay this conversation i've been watching it online people are giving their thoughts of it and it's interesting but i want us to look beyond just the statement that i wouldn't want you to come to my event with your natural hair let's see how it all began okay so after all this and um, the dates which is here is actually before christ was born 2494 before Christ. That was where people started wearing wigs. Now, after giving this background, let's get into this video and, and listen to what this creator is called Coco Chloe. She's from Nigeria, and that is what she said about natural hair. If you listen up to the statement she was making, she is talking about wearing her natural hair in the house going to visit her niece with a natural hair going to see her children or going to parent meeting with natural hair but she would never wear something expensive something high class something bougie with natural hair the least she would do for herself is to have a pony well in this instance let's also draw closer and ask ourselves these questions what she is saying is it entirely false or it is true before you start judging her let's see what our churches also show us what we we learn as we grow up how we see things let's see it from that perspective you go to church you are in natural hair every time you might have dreadlocks or natural hair and someone will tell you you are comfortable in our you know meaning you have a fetish hair on your head which is your own hair because it is not relaxed it is not straightened it's a fetish hair 
some people are even asked to cover up their hair because your hair is is, is not humble your hair is standing making afro to big big event and church services you feel bad because you are told you have to be humble you have to look good and modest so having a standing hair doesn't show your modesty i have encountered someone one day i just combed out my afro and set off to go out and a lady saw me in front of my house and said ah ama na asori awo ko na wa ye uti hu setu san perig biche meaning that i cannot go with my natural hair because my natural hair is standing it's not the ideal hair the ideal hair is a wig i have to wear a wig what are the thoughts we put in minds of people what are the books that people read nowadays nowadays if you take the children's book you know that a girl has a straight hair and a boy has a low cut hair so it means that as you are growing as a girl you would have to get the straight hair once in your lifetime that shows you are a girl so if you cut your hair down to your scalp you are not a girl you don't look like a girl if you let your hair grow by itself if you don't indulge in um, adding waves and wigs to your hair you are not that ideal lady in books listen to what this woman said at church bible says he that will have friends must first show himself friendly you're squeezing your face nobody is calling me but this is how your face is friday night you're at home Monday, you're at home. Tuesday, you're at home. Instead of you to be smiling, be shining your teeth anywhere you are. When your friends are hanging out, say, I'm coming. When your colleagues are going to work, say, maybe that's where my husband will be. Let me dress up and join them. Show yourself friendly, and then you will have friends. All of you will be carrying natural hair about. Who, who natural hair help? Okay. You better, you better wear your wig. I'm mean, doing like this. And be flipping it. Go and spend that money on hair. Spend, draw your brows. Buy lip gloss. Look good. Natural hair is not selling markets. When you marry, you off your wig. Hey, because you have entered. There's nothing they can do about it. But before you enter, don't be caught on fresh. Never. Package yourself well. Yeah, so with this video, you can see where the church also stands. Some people have that thought. It is not all the church members, but some people also think that you, you, you don't look feminine when you don't have wigs. You look masculine when you have your own hair. That is a thought of some people. Some people bring the arguments out that um, having your natural hair, it is hard to keep and everything. So putting everything under a wig is the best. That is someone's argument too. But what do you also think? This is a question, a general question for you. Write it in the comment section. What do you think? about this lady's statement and about what society is displaying in my opinion i would say that this lady is just displaying what the society has pushed us has made us feel about ourselves it is just a reflection of our confidence level as africans especially african women it's actually directs us to think and indulge in a thought of where are we going 30 years from now where will we be will we be at a point where children will feel ashamed having their cornrows or we'll be at a point where people would have to cover up their hair with thick hair every time disclaimer i am someone who plates my hair i have natural hair i plate my hair sometimes and i wear wigs sometimes so i am not a saint of wigs i am not someone who hasn't worn wig before another disclaimer is that there are diseases in this world that causes hair loss massive hair loss one of them is cancer cancer itself doesn't cause hair loss but treating cancer with drugs and all the therapies it causes hair loss diseases like alopecia also causes massive hair loss and other medicine that's cures diseases can also cause your hair 
to just break out so those people who are undergoing this pressure and this stress from healing themselves they tend to cover up their hair with wigs to be able to look good and presentable those are not what we are talking about right now because they need to also look good they need to have their confidence on what we are looking at is why is someone in the 21st century talking about her hair like this this is not someone's hair it is the hair that grows on your scalp why should somebody talk about her own hair like this i think it rules into our dna we have low self-esteem we have low self-esteem as women african women that is what i think if you trust and believe in yourself you wouldn't need anything to look good once in a while you would want to wear wigs but right now in this place where we stand women have made wigs a necessity that without it you cannot succeed in life you cannot be elevated in life the rate at which people are investing in wigs are outrageous you might be unemployed and find out that the person who is unemployed has a wig worth 20,000 Ghana cities 30,000 Ghana city wig on the head of a person but the person is not employed the person doesn't have a land the person doesn't have a car nothing no job opportunities are open for this person the person doesn't even have a skill but the person goes all out to get a wig why for some level of status for them to feel good for them to feel worth worth coming close to this is how we as women have reduced ourselves to so wig wearing isn't bad but the fact that someone would stand in front of people who come to listen to the word of god and tell them that how how did natural hair help you what are we telling our children what are we telling our girls they are supposed to exchange anything for weeks what are we telling them you are supposed to deceive other people that this is my hair every time this is my hair that's my hair that's my hair then one day you are married and you take it off because you are in that statement that this pastor said is quite problematic because marriage is not a cell and even in cells there is a padlock that you can open and you can close so if you say you are in i don't get it as you deceive someone that this is me from the time you saw the person till you get married this is actually going to be you till you die or else you're going to have a lot of problems to combat so i think at this point it is a point that we have to sit back think about ourselves again and wonder how we can correct this thing i have had natural hair i have had unpermed hair for almost nine years and i tell you it is hard work to keep it neat it is hard work to keep it stable and nice and beautiful it is lovely to have your natural hair if well made okay it takes time a lot nine years or almost nine years of having hair this is what i think we should put our attention towards to lift the self-esteem of our people to make sure that we don't feel bad using our hair once in a while if you want to use a wig fine but we don't feel like our hair cannot be sent to vgms it cannot be sent to the oxcus you can wear your hair anytime anywhere a white person comes to ghana and the person doesn't even have braids the hair is just there and goes and comes and goes and comes we don't see it problematic because that is what we see in our videos that is what we see in our movies that is what we see everywhere that oh this is the ideal hair so you smile and you pass by the white lady you can even take a picture of the white lady but your hair is something you are afraid of so this is what i have learned over the eight getting to nine years of keeping natural hair it is hard work to keep natural hair so you have to 
be able to keep your hair very well to achieve the look that you want to achieve because trust me people are able to groom their hair nicely and it looks better than permed hair or even a wig check this out Yes, these are all people who have natural hair and are able to groom it well. So first and foremost, you have to make up your mind that your hair is also a hair that was given to you by God. It is not bad. It is not evil. That's the first thing. So you, you make up your mind you're going to keep the hair and make it grow. The second thing is that after keeping that mindset we have to look for natural hair product to help the hair grow at this point in my life that is my problem that is my only problem looking for a natural hair product that works is my problem within eight years getting to nine years i've looked i've searched i've bought i've used natural hair product in my life and most of them all of them that i've used they are good i condition i use egg in my hair i use cucumber in my hair i use pear in my hair i use honey in my hair i'm almost becoming a bee because i use honey in my hair every time and ants would love to eat my hair because there is always sugar there is always something sweet in my hair i put rice in my hair and in all these things it does not work for me my hair grows but not as much and as heavy as i wanted to look look at this i i wanted to look better i wanted to look heavier longer so i can portray and display it pleasurably but i'm not able to get the ideal natural hair product that i need so i think that is one thing producers of products that is one thing ceos should also be thinking about that is one thing chinese companies and most of these big big companies should be thinking about how to grow our hair is also very important we do not just want things to make wigs and make wigs look neat and shiny and things that's nice but also we should also get product that works natural hair products that works that's one thing that i am still looking for i have not got some yet i've not got a natural hair product that works yet i'm yet to find one and if i do i am very sure i'm going to share it with you on this channel but until then try to keep your hair very neat wear a scarf in the night while sleeping wake up try to hydrate your hair after washing your hair do not dry it under the heat but rather use thread or blow dryer which is not very heated dry your hair and make a style you would want to do it's going to help you stretch the hair make it look neat without destroying the hair without breaking the hair and also remember that we are in a sunny neighborhood we are place of stay which is in africa the sun is too much so you mostly have to hydrate your hair that is one thing so with this it's also a challenge to our school system our movies that we watch even our music videos if someone is is singing about some poverty that he has left into riches you realize in the music video that the person was poor and the person had natural hair braids maybe cornrow or banchinia as i call it then when god blesses a person the person is wearing wig and makeup and dress does that mean that someone who does not use makeup who is not having wig is not blessed by god so bit by bit we are putting some things into the minds of people which really is getting into their brains that is why somebody will sit on social media and give such comments about her own hair also our school systems we should make sure that we are putting the way we look in our books we are talking good of us in our books we should make people who are wearing afro look like women in our books okay 
a woman is not only supposed to wear it a woman can have her afro and still look good for a black woman to wear her natural hair mm -hmm. however that manifests itself yes to me is a declaration of power mm. and of pride mm. and of love and of identity i'm just a huge fan of it mm. i really am i'm a huge fan of it um, i understand why we do the wigs and the i understand it um but i i, I understand it but i i would never demand it mm -hmm. yeah i would never demand it many women that i see with naturals i go out of my way mm -hmm. to tell them how beautiful their hair looks and and just to see their shoulders rise and yeah. that smile beam across their face it's just i don't get tired of it i just don't get tired of it so i am uh i celebrate you so we should encourage all these things in our books and make sure that little by little we make changes or else we, we are going to grow into a kind of generation that does not need anything natural from them look at how someone is is transforming herself You saw it right. So this is where we are as a nation. This is where we are as a people. People do not want anything they have. They do not want to improve anything they have. They just want to change it. They just want to improve it by a very quick and sharp means, which is not entirely the best. So please, this statement, you might judge from outside, from afar. You might judge that, mm, why is this lady doing this? Is she, is she crazy? Is everything all right with her? Hope she's fine. Why would she say that? But if you bring it, it, break it down very well, you would realize that you and I encourage these things. You and I look down on people who have natural hair. People who have braids. You and I do not even say hi, do not smile to these people because you think they are poor people. You and I think that this wedding, as for this wedding that you are going, you need to wear wig. If you don't wear wig, your face will be hard. How can you do wedding and not wear wig? Your face will be hard. You and I, we give such comments. We push people to do things and later regret it. Wigs are not bad. That's not what I'm saying. Wigs are not bad they supplement us when we are in real need of some quick fix to go somewhere natural hair is also not bad it can never be bad if the wig goes off if the wind blows off your natural hair what will be left is your hair so wigs are not bad all what i'm saying is that let's make sure that we in unity entertain encourage our young ones people around who are bold enough to wear their natural hair let's find ways and means to encourage people to get more products let's encourage people who know more product teach us so we can know how to make the natural hair look more presentable more shinier and we will rock it with all that we've got this is the little that i have to say about this video what do you think about what the pastor and this lady said what are your thoughts about what i am saying is it right anna <laughs> Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for all the support. I would want to end here and say there are a ton of videos on this channel. Have you done your new year resolution? If not, please delve into the channel. Get yours done immediately after this video. Then let's meet at the top. But you know, I've added one new year resolution to my list. I want to start learning dancing because you subscribe to my channel i want to dance for you so by the end of this year i'm going to learn a dance for you remind me by the end of this year i will learn and dance for you thanks for everything god bless you bye